Spain has always had a bad reputation as a place full of pickpockets and thieves targeting tourists. To put an end to this reputation, the Mozos de Esquadra was introduced eight years ago. The Mozos de Esquadra is the autonomous police force of Catalonia. It replaced the Spanish National Police. The Mozos de Esquadra has a motorbike patrol unit that can respond in record time anywhere in the city. Albert Lorenzo heads up the motorcycle unit. Albert joined the police 16 years ago and has been in charge of this squadron for two years. He's got 16 bikers under his command who constantly patrol the city's streets. Today, he's going to supervise them from his car. His right-hand woman, Eva, is with him. Here in Barcelona, we see a very specific type of crime at the beginning of the summer. It's not really dangerous, but, well, for example, we see people on motorbikes and mopeds puncturing car tires while they're at red lights, especially cars with foreign license plates. They act like they're trying to help the driver, helping them with some kind of mechanical problem. And then, when the driver is distracted, they reach into the passenger side and steal a bag. And then they speed off. Thieves adapt throughout the day depending on what the tourists are doing. Albert has just been called to El Raval. Clearly, something serious has happened. Well, it's not very clear, but apparently several units have called for backup because there's a serious situation. The only information Albert has received is that officers are being attacked. He's very nervous. Backup officers had cordoned off the area in a matter of minutes. Albert centralizes the information. It's still not clear. We still don't know anything. The only thing Albert can see is a young man unmoving on the ground. He'll soon know more as a witness comes forward. Did you see something? He's over there. It's a friend of mine. Okay, so call him and get him over here. No, the one on the ground. Oh, okay. okay. No, wait here. Wait here. Wait here. Wait here. We're here. Okay, that's fine. Albert soon comes to grips with the situation. The backup officers arrive quickly enough to prevent the brawl from escalating, but it was a close call. Okay, so some people that live in this area were fighting. The officers intervened, and one of the people fighting attacked the officers. We've arrested them for assault for attempting to harm an officer. It's a lot calmer now. An ambulance is coming for the victim, who's there on the ground. The unconscious victim is quickly treated by the EMTs. Albert has first aid training and helps the medical team. Thankfully, the teen on the ground is going to be okay. It's early summer in Barcelona, and the top priority for the Mossos de Esquadra is keeping tourists safe. This morning, Albert is being debriefed by his superior. It's summertime, so we're going to focus on our tourist areas. Thank you, thank you. Today, 
Today we're going on patrol in Barceloneta. Barceloneta is a coastal area of the city. Originally owned to Barcelona's fishermen, it has been completely redeveloped and now boasts a beautiful sandy beach close to the city center. It's a must-visit place for tourists and pickpockets. Today, Albert's unit will make their presence known. They'll monitor the beach and park in plain sight. A doubly effective tactic that reassures tourists and puts off thieves. One day, we caught a particularly tricky thief. He would set up his towel beside his chosen victim and then steal their personal belongings using a wire. But no one ever noticed they were being robbed. So it took us a long time to find him. But after many reports by victims and plenty of witness statements, we finally got him in the end. Albert and Eva move on after a few minutes. Not far from the beach, they're called over to the exit of a parking lot. The manager explains. A man scratched their car. Just look. I think they wanted money from the man. I think they wanted the guy to give them money. But he wouldn't. They wanted to negotiate, but the guy wouldn't hear of it, so they called the police. So, wait, was it a car crash? No, not at all. As they passed, they scratched the car a tiny bit. Can you see? It's all they did. Okay, I'll talk to them. My dad is a lawyer, and I had an accident. Okay, in I am too. a police. Okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this is the rent. Why do you say to me that your father is a lawyer? Uh, just just to, say, to that. say that I know the situation and okay. that it did okay. happen to me too. Uh, your father is here? No, in okay. Germany. Okay. Because we no are problem. from Germany. I don't want to know anything about your father. I want to know about you and your car, okay? It's not my car, it's a rental car. We just want to have this accident paid yes. because in our opinion, the other person yes. made this fault and crashed our car. Yes, but uh, you, uh, have you uh, an insurance? Um, normally, yes. normally in, in Spain, all the cars has an insurance, okay? And the other car, uh, I, I think, I hope, uh, two, okay? And then, if you, uh, if you are not agree uh, with the, uh, the other person, yeah. Okay, uh, you have to uh, call to your uh, uh, Ryan uh, Enterprise, okay, and explain what has it happened. In fact, procedures are different in Germany and in Catalonia. Here, you don't call the police for a little problem like that. Most of the time, these situations solve themselves. The problem is that these boys are foreign. They don't understand the rules here in Catalonia. So we have to explain them. Sometimes they don't understand. Sometimes they don't want to understand. But here, they understood. So they're meeting with the appropriate person in two hours to file a report. We're back in Barcelona, in the areas most popular with tourists. This place is called Born, the Born Promenade. That's the Cathedral del Mar there in front of us. There are lots of bars and restaurants here, pizzerias, that kind of thing. It gets really busy around 9 or 10 p.m. A lot of bags get snatched around here. Thieves walk up beside people, girls in particular, girls who are carrying handbags, and all of a sudden they go up to them and violently snatch their bags. And then they run off down these alleys where they can easily make their getaway. Another favorite hunting ground for pickpockets is the metro. Here, there are no officers on bikes and no officers in uniform, just two undercover armed officers. 
Their mission is to spot pickpockets and arrest them. We always have to be armed. You never know what might happen. There are lots of ways to carry a weapon. For example, my colleague carries his gun there, and I carry mine in my bag. I've got a telescopic baton in there as well, just in case. The undercover officers travel between the metro stations most used by tourists. Pickpockets take advantage of crowds to steal wallets, cell phones, and cameras. The officers spread out and signal to each other if they spot anyone suspicious, like now. The man in orange shorts is acting strange. He keeps looking to the left and the right. They follow the suspect who fits the profile of a pickpocket. But a few minutes later, they realize they were wrong. In general, pickpockets don't really take care of their appearance. They'll be wearing scruffy clothes. That's what caught our attention. Still within the metro, the officers come across a man they've seen many times before. They're going to check he's not carrying any stolen materials. Well, what's in the bag? Flip-flops. Just flip-flops, that's all. Can you come over here, please? That's my phone. Oh, no, no, not that one. This one is mine. It's the same as mine, you see? And whose is this one? I got it for my son. It's a different brand. Mine's this one. Yeah, it's old. But they both work? But this one has a card. No, no, that's all I have. Okay, you don't have anything else on you? All right, thanks. It was just a guy who was hanging around there. We checked him. He's often begging for money and other stuff. We always check to try to see if it's their phone, because often they're stolen. They could have gotten them illegally. So we check if the phone works. Sometimes we turn it off and on again, so they have to put the code in. That's what we normally do. The Metro Patrol unit hasn't caught anyone today. But since its introduction, the number of pickpockets has reduced. The weekend has started, and Albert and Eva will be patrolling on two wheels. Petty crime will be on the rise, and they have to be able to respond as quickly as possible. Today, they're working from 2 p.m. until midnight. Their first mission, Barcelona prison. One of the inmates is suspected of carrying illegal substances. As there are no female guards at the prison, Eva will have to search the woman. The mission is soon completed. Everything is fine. I searched her and she didn't have any illegal substances. But she was hit on the head during the arrest and they did x-rays to be sure she's okay. And it seems that she's fine. Everything's all right. Traveling around Barcelona on two wheels is the best way for them to quickly get from place to place. The roads in Barcelona are some of the busiest in Europe. 
Albert's unit is especially effective at responding to emergency calls in the Catalan capital. Foxes are quick, cautious animals. And when they have to act, they act fast, just like these bikers. I really like leading this group. They're a great bunch of people who do a great job. The motorbike unit is about to prove how effective it is. Albert has just been called to Barceloneta, where there's been a robbery. Albert arrives on the scene in under three minutes. He's acting as backup to two other officers on foot. The thief is on the ground. Witnesses have immobilized him. Your hand, give me your hand. Please, take the phone. Please, please. How many did he have? Oh, no, it's all my mother's, really. Everything, it's my mother's. It's not mine, it's my mother's. It's all my mother's. Eva takes the victim to one side to take his statement. A six foot two Dutchman that wouldn't let him get away with it. He's strong and angry. He's the one that held the thief down. So he was defending this guy. So that's what. Hey, uh, Where's my necklace? It was my necklace was ripped down on my throat. It was a cross, so he ripped it off me. So we hunt him and get him. And uh, it was three guys. Three guys, three guys against you. Okay. Now it was coming around like this. We ripped it off. Okay. So be quiet, we... mister. Be quiet, okay? Yeah, yeah. We are okay. We are uh, working. He's arrested. Okay? Yeah, yeah. It's your work. Yes, perfect. Thank you. Are you okay? Yes. We have called the ambulance. Uh, yeah. No, 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 no. Yes. No. Not for me. But for him. I didn't take anything. I didn't take nothing. I didn't take anything. You shut up. A simple identity check reveals that the thief already has a record for similar offenses. For the time being, everything's under control. We have one suspect who was involved in the crime, and there were two others, but they got away. It's time for the officers to take the thief to the station. We'll take him in now and do the statements and everything, okay? Get up, okay? Let's go. Come on. It's not a circus here. Get in. Get in. If you tell me who did it, you can go. No? Okay, take him in. Now, the victim has to agree to press charges. If he doesn't, the police can keep the thief in custody. Uh, mister, do you want to report? Yes, of course. Okay, now in a few moments, uh, we will take uh, your report here. Okay, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, and you, course, you, have, you have to explain uh, what has happened, okay? Yeah, and course. how many persons has uh, still your your necklace? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Uh, no problem. Okay, uh, if, you, uh, if you want, uh, we, we have called the uh, ambulance. No, no, no. Uh, yes, yes, but here in Spain, <coughs> and the ambulance has to check a little bit your neck, and you are okay. Okay? Yeah. Your, your, your arms, okay? Yeah. Yeah, we, we have to call. Okay. Do you understand me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Albert is insisting that they call an ambulance because this chain snatching was particularly violent. In this case, he's required by law. You can't chase three guys. Yeah. You have to chase one. Yeah, of course. So uh, I chose one. Yeah. And I took one. When the Dutchman jumped on the thief, the two others turned on him and hit him with this iron bar. But the man didn't let go. I don't feel good because 
It's my modest necklace. She died about 30 years ago. Uh, that's all. What do you say? It's the last gift she gave me. Albert sends his two-wheeled units down the neighboring streets to try and find the other two thieves. He's soon called by an officer that has stopped a suspect. When he saw the police, he fled through a door in an alley. The unit stopped him to see if he's one of the thieves. The man has no documentation on him. He claims to be a Syrian refugee. It's not one of the thieves. The officers let him go. Albert and Eva won't arrest the other thieves tonight. But having one of them in custody leads to others' arrest a few days later. The necklace won't ever be found. But at least, these three thieves will be taken off the streets in